Right, the uh, job we've got today is to change this compressor. Um, customers bought a second hand uh, cold room. Um, it's a bit of a tight fit in here. And this is three phase and he's only got single phase on site. And um, he's not got the budget at the moment to put a new system in. Well, so uh, cheapest option we've come up with is changing the three phase compressor for a single phase one and doing a bit of rewiring in the box to make it run. So that's the job for the day. Schrader port, but the cap was missing. Three hundred grams. Let's have nine hundred in it. We shall see. Right, we've got it put into a vacuum. It's quite cold today, so there's a it's still boiling off like the oil. You can. You know, again, you can hear it bubbling away. We've got about 550, 570. Um, it's probably a bit in the machine as well. Let's put that on the purge. Let's see what we get out of it. Not much. So there might be another 100 grams in there. But the, the cap was. Um, missing off of that. It's actually under the compressor. Just about to see it. Somebody's dropped it at some point so it's had somebody working on it. And they've dropped it and not bothered putting it back on there so this is pretty rusty around here. So that could be a leak as well. Right, that's a new one in. Got the Discharge brazed in on that little stub sealed up. Um, we've got a <coughs> rotor lock valve on the suction on this one, so we've got to get from here to here. It's a bit too close together, really, but we'll have to come up with something. Right, we've got the suction line brazed in, we've brought the pipe along, up, linked it over the top into there. Hopefully that gives us enough room to put the electrics in here. <coughs> uh, put a new dryer in there. It had one of them copper spun ones with the beads in, so um, we've gone back with one of these solid core Danfoss ones. Um, we just got it under some nitrogen in there now, kind of a sandwich, and uh, see how that does. It's been on test for half an hour. Um, it dropped 0.7 while I had lunch and it's not dropped in the 10 minutes since so I think I probably started the uh, timer before we equalised because we were only connected on the load side. I've got to sort out the electrics. A little three phase contactor. So one live comes through and goes through a Klixen. It's on the red phase. The other one comes through on the blue on another Klixen and the black is just connected straight through so if both of these went open it wouldn't matter that there was power on the black and it would stop the motor and then the um, brown wire is the cool, cooling signal it goes down to the end of this and then the two brown wires are on a thermistor and that comes back up to the coil of this so if the compressor gets too hot it will drop the contactor out so pretty much all this can go That's all wired, got a relay, start cap, run capacitor, put a new contactor in there. Put a bit of insulation around that, mm. paint on there. That's 
that's it running with the cover on. Just turned it on, so don't want to run it too long because they've got um, silicon uh, sealer going off on the panels. Just give it a buzz just to make sure it's running. It's not going to be too noisy with the cover on because these things tend to vibrate quite badly. The covers just pop in, three little pins inside. Should have some screws in it somewhere. I think it should be used to some on the top. Should be one here and one here. So I'm gonna find some screws. Nice job done. It's converted from three phase to single.